Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Authentic Info Podcast. I'm your host, Admar Sandel Chaul. The reason why Chris Papas is not going to win elections in KwaZulu Natal is because it's white. So the DA has recently lost a lot of black leaders. Actually, they chased them. They created a hostile environment within their positions and left them with no other option but to resign. They've lost Musi Maimani, they've lost Pumzile uh, Fandam, they've lost Mpopalaza, they've lost Hemen uh, Mashaba, and a lot of other black leaders who were successful in their positions helping black people because they were living in communities that were populated by black people. So the DA does not love that, the DA does not like that. And another question is the DA's racial policy. Uh, it's very beautiful on paper, but when it comes to implementation, it's not. The DA underperforms in municipalities or wards where uh, the majority are black people. Let us look at what is happening in Pretoria. Pretoria is dilapidating. Pretoria is going to be the next job back in less than two years because wherever DA governs, wherever DA is in charge, for as long as that place it's uh, a consists of majority of black people, it underperforms. Let us look at, for example, the showground in Pretoria. It's a mess. You can't believe that that was a state-of-the-art building which was used for uh, to count votes by the IEC. It was rented out to Bushiri and things like that. But today, it's a mess. The EFF is organizing to go and do their understatane uh, Andre Tetan or Andre Tetan campaign, they are going to clean and things like that. So it's not only there, even in Ekuruleni. In Ekuruleni, waste management uh, was not uh, a thing that uh, people were used to until uh, we saw the new administration that involved the EFF. And then we saw trucks uh, collecting waste and things like that, sewer being treated and things like that. So under the DA led government, it underperformed, it destroyed everything. So people are going to look into this. And then are they going to trust Chris Papas in KwaZulu-Natal to lead the Zulu people? It's not going to happen. One thing that the DA thinks it's going, they are, the reason why they chose Chris Papas to be the, 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 their premier candidate for KwaZulu-Natal, uh, it's because the people of Umgeni uh, received Papas, you know, with a warm welcome. And they love him. And majority, I mean, 75% when they say it's that, it's the Zulu people and then the 25%, it's mixed people. So it's mixed race. So they think it's going to work because of uh, the way he speaks the language of the Zulu and they think he understands the problem of Zulu people. He does not understand the problem of Zulu people. And Zulu people will never be united by a white person. They will never be united by a white person. The move, the reckless move that the DA took to be in charge, uh, to use white people to be in charge of all these strategic positions, it's going to cause them to decline and lose more numbers come 2024 and forever until they go back and solve their pride and give young people these positions, black people these positions to lead black communities. Because a white person who comes from Cape Town, who grew up in Cape Town, who grew up in Stellenbosch, cannot solve the problems of Limpopo. They can't stand the heat. So the DA cannot want to use a white person to lead the people of Limpopo. I mean, black people will tell you that under the apartheid government, there were services, but they don't understand that those services were made for the minority white people. That is why now that they are open for black people, uh, they, they are stretched. And it's a challenge to the, to the ANC to maintain and expand because white people themselves stole a lot of money by the way they stole a lot of money before they left power in 1994 so the state is faced with such problems and then the da now no longer want to use black people they want to use their faces they want to show us their true colors they want to make us suffer so chris papas is the worst candidate uh, for premiership for premier position, is the worst candidate. So they made a mistake. It's not going to win. It's not going to give them numbers. Actually, they're going to drop in 2024. They must reconsider that position. And I see now he's accused of uh, 
employing his wife, things like that. So uh, he's al- is already taking advantage of the little, you know, warmth that he has received in, 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 in Umge. And then he's taking advantage of black people and then he's employing his fiance on some strategic post there. So he's starting to lose it. And I think uh, this cloud of fame is over him now because we hear about him every day. He's doing interviews. I don't know at what time is that boy, white boy waking. So for him, for Premier, it's a waste of time. I mean, they must reconsider. They must try and uh, come up with another strategy to convince the people of KwaZulu-Natal. But the way the people of KwaZulu-Natal are so united, I don't think they will agree to white leadership. It will be a disgrace to them. It will be a disgrace to the chief. It will be a disgrace disgrace to the likes of uh, the late Butelis because that is not the vision that they fought for. That is not the mission which they, they, were, they, they, they were into, that they wanted to achieve. No. Those were not their goals that one day the Zulu people will be led by a white person. So it's a worse move from the DA. And that is why the boy will never emerge victorious in KwaZulu-Natal. He will never win. So what is going to happen is the people who uh, were ANC, the people who thought, who uh, clouded the ANC to think that the Zulus support ANC, are now going to support IFP. They are going to rally behind IFP because it is only IFP which is going to give them a leadership of the Zulu people. The reason the Zulu people rallied behind the ANC, it was because of Zuma, because they had to beg him to be president. But as soon as Zuma left power and the ANC failed to protect him, the Zulu people no longer resonate with the ANC. That is why we saw them losing a lot of wards and municipalities in KwaZulu-Natal to the IFP. And that might be a direct link as to what's going to happen in 2024. Because now they have the IFP, they just lost their, their leader, and they will want to do it for him. They will want to protect his legacy. And in doing that, they are going to unite and rally behind the IFP. What the IFP needs to do now is to make sure that they uh, unite their party, probably even change the current leader. I mean, he is not charismatic. They must give it to that uh, boy who, who is uh, heading uh, Scopa. I think he's young, energetic, and I thought that that opportunity is going to attract the young people because already the elders are organized. But we have a problem of young voters in South Africa. And the Zulu people, even though the majority are in KwaZulu-Natal, they also exist in other parts of South Africa. And if the IFP can swallow their pride and afford that young man an opportunity to lead the IFP, I think they can come out with great numbers in 2024 and they can even have more seats in parliament. But we know the problem of opposition parties. Opposition parties are led by people who want to go with these political parties to the grave. Opposition parties are led by people who want to use the, that uh, political party to protect them from uh, the law. So if the IFP does not consider changing the current leader, I don't think uh, they will come with great numbers in, uh, in 2024, but they stand a chance to beat the ANC in KwaZulu-Natal. The Zulu people are going to rally behind IFP because ANC denounced Zuma. And the reason ANC entered KwaZulu-Natal is because of Zuma. And they, they decided that this is a higher political position and he needs their support. And they rallied behind him. And he made sure that he respected the, the culture of the Zulu and it, it is conserved under his leadership and all other activities, you know, are respected as such. And that is why they loved him so much. And he never left his people. But by the time the ANC needed Zuma so much, they thought Zuma needed the ANC so much. And then they let him go. They didn't protect him and they let him test prison. That was the worst 
the worst thing the ANC has done, you know, in history. Uh, taking their president to prison. And it, 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 it hit them back very hard because they lost a lot of wards, municipalities, and the numbers in KwaZulu-Natal local government. And now it will be difficult for them to mobilize KwaZulu-Natal because they can't do it without Zuma. Who are they going to use? Because even the president is not welcome in KwaZulu-Natal. Whenever he is there, you will see that there is some sort of hostility. So this is something uh, that the IFP should capitalize on. They must capitalize on this. The ANC in KwaZulu-Natal is no longer strong because Zuma was ousted and never supported. IFP must make sure that they rally people behind their banner from now to t until 2024 20, and beyond and make sure that they do it for Mangosutu Butelezi as part of his legacy and respecting his legacy and what he fought for. And they must crush this DA. It will be a disgrace if the DA gets the numbers in KwaZulu-Natal looking at the situation that they have now. Zuma lost protection and support from the ANC, which means the ANC will not use him this time around. And the Zulus must now go and rally behind the IFP. They must go back to their political home. And in doing so, they must make sure that DA is not seen. Blue must not exist in KwaZulu-Natal. It must always be green, gold, and red. And then in that manner, I think they can emerge, even emerge victorious. They stand a chance to win, if not shake the ANC in, 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 in provincial level. But if they relax, the ANC might capitalize. We know that the ANC is able to employ very smart and corrupt strategies when it comes to elections. And they will never stop that because they are obsessed with power. They are obsessed with power and there are a lot of people who are power hungry. There are a lot of hung, uh, ambitious people in the ANC and they will do anything to retain uh, the province. So uh, the IFP must be smart and uh, Chris Papas will be a disgrace. If he emerges victorious, or even number three, it will be a disgrace. They cannot be uh, undermined by a, a white young boy. They shouldn't tolerate that. Because the, D, the move that the DA has made, they show South Africans that no, uh, that, that no black person has room for leadership in the DA government even in the political party. And there's no way that they will create jobs for black people. Why would they do that? They want everything for themselves and they should be seen and exposed for that. Kenneth Kunene complains every day about these people in, 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 uh, in Johannesburg where he's serving as an MMC for roads. He's always complaining, stating that they are being bullied and harassed by the DA because it wants everything for themselves. So uh, the, 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 the Zulu people in KwaZulu-Natal must be aware of this tendency by the DA that wherever they govern, they are not going to give any black person anything. Musmaimani tells us about these things in all his interviews. Whenever he's asked, why, what is it that exactly pushed him to leave the DA? And he will tell you that the DA is not pro-black. DA is a political party whose uh, uh, policy position does not advocate for black people. And that is why they were trying to challenge from inside. Imagine those who are outside, there's nothing that they can do. Being president of the party, he was challenging that. And he failed and there was some white people who started calling him a thing, that that thing must go now. That thing is now irritating. And he says that 
the person who he trusted so much was Zile. But there's a trip that Zile took to Singapore and when she came back, she came back changed. And he realized that the tables have turned. There's no room for him now. He is in a hostile environment because that was that is what they do. They create some sort of hostility around you until you resign. So that's the same thing which they did to Musi Maiman. The same thing which they did to Emen Mashaba. Emen Mashaba, when he created jobs for black people in Johannesburg, the DA caucus called him an EFF puppet. They said he is an EFF mayor. And in just three years, he left. And was doing good in so seeing things like that. And these things were helping black people. He left. Mpopalat left. So she was, she, was, she was in a position where no one was talking to her. No one was taking her serious. By that time, she's a counselor. And she realized that she's being wasted. She's young. She's energetic. She wants to serve black people. And she is not being employed to do anything. And then she currently left. She resigned as a counselor. And then she kept DA membership. She went back to practice as a general practitioner. She's a doctor. Because helping people is what she wants. But the, EF, the, 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 the DA did not create that environment. And what happened? She was left with no other option but to resign. So when they come using this white boy's face in KwaZulu-Natal, who speaks fluent Zulu, who claims to understand even the problems of the Zulu people, who claims to understand their culture and traditions and the meaning of whatever, I mean, the, the language, the words that he uses, even the tone. He speaks Zulu that comes from the rural areas of Mshabuya Linga. The Zulu that we don't even hear on, 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 on social media on TV, on radio. Pure Zulu from rural areas. The Zulu that carries the tradition and culture of the Zulu nation. That is what that boy speaks. So he's a well-polished uh, diamond. But the IFP must be careful. They must strategize and crush whatever DA is trying to do and make sure that it is given no chance in KwaZulu-Natal. And they must deliver KwaZulu-Natal in the name of Mangosutu Buteles. And failure to do that, they should have betrayed Mangosutu Buteles. This is Authentic Info Podcast. I'm your host, Admas Andele Let us grow together. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you.